Hi everyone, this is my first video um, doing um, makeup. Um, I'm going to be using mostly um, number seven products today um, and I'm just going to cleanse my skin and yeah. So I always put my hair back um, with a hairband. Um, I'm just gonna go um, over my face with the Lancome um, toner, um, which one of my eye, um, the Comfort one, um, mainly because I've got quite dry skin at the moment. I've been in the sun, uh, which tends to dry my skin out. Um, I've usually got quite an oily complexion, um, but my skin, when it goes in the sun, it does help it quite a lot because um, I get quite a lot of breakouts as well um, but this just helps when my skin's a little bit more drier which tends to happen like around the nose area and my cheeks as well um, I'm going to follow with the Hydrazen uh, Day Cream again because my skin's quite dry at the moment just going to pop some of that on Moisturise that in. Right, so um, I've got quite an oily skin, um, but I still like my skin to look dewy and glowy, which is um, what sort of is in at the moment. Um, so I'm gonna start with um, the number seven Lift and Luminate Primer. Uh, this came out about two months ago. Um, it's got sodium hydroxide in it, so it's really, really glowy on the skin. Um, and it's also got vitamin C, so it's like instantly brightening. So it's going to help pigmentation as well. And it just looks really, really sort of like creamy. Um, and obviously it helps hold foundation to the skin as well, as it's got glucosamine in. So I'm just going to pop this all over. I've also just recently used the Bleach London Rose on my hair, so it is quite pinky at the moment. And I think this is about 16.50, um, and we're um, always on three for two, so. Um, next, I always do my foundation first. A lot of people um, do their eye makeup first. Um, I'm just so used to doing my foundation first. It's just something I've always done. So um, I'm just going to move the camera. So again, I'm going to be using um, the number seven buffing brush. And uh, this just gives me a really like, full coverage on my foundation. Um, I usually use Beautifully Matte Foundation from number seven. Um, in a cool vanilla but obviously where I've been in the sun I have gained a little bit of a tan um, and when my skin's dry I do want to make a little bit more dew on my skin that in there I'm just going to work this in does blend really nicely um, and this colour is warm beige and as you can see it's already giving me that really nice dewy glow that I'm after I always just go over my eyelids as well. 
and just go down your neckline and I always follow my ear line just to avoid any um, lines or anything like that. And obviously if you want more coverage you can build this foundation up and um, it does last 24 hours as well so it's a really stay putting well foundation okay so next i'm going to be using our new lift and illuminate concealer and um, this also came out when the lift and illuminate primer came out again it's got vitamin c in so it's really brightening it helps with pigmentation and under eye dark circles as well and with concealer this is in the shade light i always do a triangle just like that and then um, grab my concealer brush. And obviously just blend that in. I use a concealer brush and also my hand or my finger. And this is really good just to illuminate under the eye area. It's not too heavy as well, but it's still really creamy. bring that right down you can also use this concealer on blemishes as well so it's really really handy you can just see how that really really lifts around the eye area Okay, obviously next um i always set my makeup with um a loose powder i prefer loose powder rather than um compact powder i just prefer the consistency of it and this one obviously keeps me shine free as well um and it's just the number seven again loose powder in medium this color is again got my number seven big puffy brush Obviously, just apply that all over the face, just to set. Okay, next, um, I'm going to be using the number seven bronzer in maple. Um, a lot of people think that you don't have to use bronzer and blusher i personally like using both just to create that contour effect and give my colors a bit of color on my cheekbones um i use my bronzer all over um, but i always use an angled brush so I literally just follow my ear line down again the other side and then around my hairline and then I hold the brush and go either side of my nose as well Again, my blusher is um, Apricot Blossom from number seven. And I just literally just smile. And this, your blush is meant to go on your, your apples of your cheeks. So just blend all this back up. And that just gives you a really nice glow. Um, so we brought out um, our blended um, custom drops um, for our highlighters and they come in rose gold, gold, white gold and bronze I think. 
Um, I love the rose gold one. Um, I like liquid highlighters, especially at this time of year when you want more of like that really dewy, glowy skin. Um, you can use this um, on your cheekbones, but you can also use it down your face as well with your bronzer just to create that um, contour look. I haven't got a fan brush on me today, so I'm just using like a big puffy brush. And just use my finger as well just to blend that in. You can also do, use this as an eyeshadow. And just have my cupid bow as well. Excuse the facial expressions I pull when I do my makeup. So onto eyes, and um, I can't do anything without my number seven eyeshadow primer. Um, I put this on my eyelids. Literally, I've got again, like I said, really oily skin tends to really affect my eyelids as well. And if I don't use an eyeshadow primer, and um, my eyeshadow will just crease. So usually, just use your finger and literally just wipe this across your eyelid. You don't really even need to like let it set. Um, it will just dry and then you can put your eyeshadow on after literally i used to use the smashbox one about four years ago i was addicted to it um this one is like half the price and it does exactly the same thing um it's probably even better i'd say so i'm gonna go for like a sort of smoky pink look um using this palette uh brush wise just going to use like a big puffy brush, an angled brush, just like this. So I'm going to go in obviously with the pink shade. It's really quick and easy to do this. And all of number seven products are hypernogenic as well. So if you have got sensitive eyes or skin, you will be absolutely fine. I get a lot of eczema on my eyelids. Um, so I find that I have to be really careful. And already you can see that just gives like a really soft look. I'm going to go in with that angled brush now and um, just using more of like a darker shade in the trio. As you can see, that's just built up. definition and obviously just go back over just to blend and I'm going to use another palette and um, just to get the darker color because um, I like going under my eye with uh, like a dark brown eyeshadow. Just another brush. Just going to use like an eyeliner brush. And I'm just going to go really softly underneath my eye area. Just to create that definition. And then you just want to blend it along. I used to wear eyeliner quite a lot underneath my eye area. 
um, on the waterline. Uh, I don't tend to as much anymore, uh, just because it is quite harsh. Um, and I mean, I've also started wearing a black brown mascara now instead of black, but this is actually black just to give that more dramatic look. Um, I'm going to use the brown liquid Stay Perfect eyeliner from number seven as well. And this is really easy to use, especially if you find eyeliner quite hard to use. The brush is really simple. Um, I find these easier than the felt tip pens. Go back over. That line there. So this is the new uh, 4360 Ultra. I actually love this mascara. Um, it really, really helps build my lashes. I usually use a lengthening mascara and a curling mascara. So this literally just does the job. As you can see, this has already started to build up. And then just go underneath your bottom lashes as well. And then obviously, this is a Sparkling Rose lip gloss. Again, um, I learned a really good tip when I went training that you can actually put this on your eyelids um, to create that really nice rose gold look. Um, but literally, just pop this on. I'm quite a gloss person like in the daytime when I'm at work I just wear gloss I don't tend to wear like, lipsticks only when I'm going out I do but that's the final look it's really really simple it takes like 10-15 minutes um but yeah thank you for watching my first video